What's up? On August 29th, the hip-hop history were punctuated by significant events that shaped the genre's trajectory, showcasing the diverse and transformative nature of the culture. Following the success of Notorious B.I.G.'s acclaimed album Ready to Die in 1994, he formed a rap collective named Junior Mafia, which stands for Junior Masters at Finding Intelligent Attitudes. Comprising members like Lil Cease, Trife, Larceny, Cheek Del Velk, Kleptomaniac, and Lil Kim as the sole female rapper. The group released their debut album Conspiracy on Undia's Entertainment. The album achieved gold status in the US, largely due to the hit single player's anthem. This release also marked the beginning of solo careers for Lil' Kim and Lil' Cease. While incarcerated at New York's Clinton Correctional Facility for Sexual Assault, Tupac Shakur released his influential album Me Against the World. One of the tracks, Temptations, showcased his seductive style. The music video for the song, directed by Dave Nelson, featured appearances from celebrities like Coolio, Ice-T, Jada Pinkett Smith, Treach, Salt and Pepper, Bill Bellamy, and others. Despite Tupac's absence, Nelson creatively crafted the video. DJ Clue? Gained prominence in the 90s for his popular mixtapes. In 2000, he curated a mixtape-like soundtrack for the documentary Backstage, which highlighted the chaos of the Hard Knock Life tour featuring artists like Jay-Z, DMX, Redman and Method Man, and Ja Rule. Daz Dillinger, known for his contributions to West Coast hip-hop through Death Row Records, transitioned to being an independent artist. After his departure from Death Row, he founded his label DPG Records and released albums like Retaliation, Revenge and Get Back in 1998. His 2000 album R.A.W. delved into his experiences growing up in Long Beach, California, addressing topics such as gang life and deceitful relationships. In 2006, after fulfilling their contract with Geffen Records, The Roots faced a pivotal decision, sign with another label or focus on touring. They eventually signed with Def Jam, despite not fitting the typical Def Jam sound. Jay-Z, the label's CEO and a friend of the band, championed their signing, even though he had reservations initially. In the dynamic tapestry of hip-hop's history, the years bore witness to artists who fearlessly shared their personal struggles and creative innovations, leaving an indelible mark on the genre's evolving landscape. Thanks for watching.